All right, guys, this is a video that nobody's asked me about, but I know it's something that's going to help a lot of people. So let's get to it. Alarms. Why is there no alarm for a boat out there? You Google boat alarm, you find these like $800 units that can track a stolen boat, but nothing simple for under 100 bucks just to protect your stuff from getting stolen, you know? So I've been using alarms for years and I've used all different kinds and I'm going to go ahead and share what works good for me. First, you want one with a shock sensor, and I put it under my floor. Now, if you look here in the Seapro, there's a battery lazarette right here. Perfect place for it. Anyone steps in the boat, you know? So this is a good one. This one cost me only 50 bucks. It's a motorcycle alarm. It's waterproof. I'm gonna arm it, and you'll see the, the lock close. Now, it works two ways. It alerts me with this. It's like a pager if someone is setting my alarm off. So what I'll do is I go ahead and set it. You see the lock go and the alarm is on loud right now. If I hit it again, it'll put a line through it and it's silent. This way they won't know they're tripping it, but this will vibrate and letting me know that someone's messing with my stuff. So it's mainly to protect my rods and stuff when I'm going in and out of the store. This thing works up to 10,000 feet. Pretty impressive. I've been using it for, for a little while now. I'm gonna go ahead and set it back to loud. Okay, now I, you can, Set the, the shock sensitivity between one and five. I have it on the most sensitive right now. So if you were gonna, you know, obviously that's gonna set it off something like that. This is beeping and this is vibrating right now. Let me go ahead and turn it off. Okay, let me go ahead and arm it again. And it takes a few seconds to arm. It gives you time to get away from your boat or your motorcycle, all right? So let's walk up into the boat. Now, if I'm just gonna walk up and steal these rods right here, I'm gonna do it kind of softly. Your rod, I'm taking this rod. I, I'm already busted. I almost got to a rod. This is beeping and this is vibrating. Awesome. Like I said, this thing was like 50 bucks. I'll show you where I got it. I don't know, John. Should I show him where I install my stuff? I don't know. It's a good question. <laughs> Trust me, it's down there. Let's go over here. Another alarm. This one I've had the longest. Okay, it's a Viper alarm for a car. It's a little more expensive, it was like 90 bucks, and frankly, it doesn't work as good as the other one. But I have it on my electronics board. It does not work two ways, which means I won't know if I'm in the store and it's going off. But it is pretty loud, That's I'll tell you that. So it should scare them off pretty good. This one takes 30 seconds to arm. It's just a regular car alarm. I don't know how waterproof it is. It's been pretty good in this dry area. This one's definitely waterproof. All right, let's get out of the boat. I can actually get out and not set this one off. But if someone was to get in there and try touching anything in there, it goes off. I'm gonna turn that one off. Third line of defense, motion detector. This is really good. I've been using this probably the longest as far as a two-way alert. And I can take this into a hotel with me. I can plug it into a wall. This one works a couple miles away. It's just a farm gate alarm is all it is. So if I'm gonna try to walk up into this boat right now, I'm gonna give it a wide berth. So yeah, I'm just interested in this boat. Looks pretty cool. Busted, got me. As soon as I walk back here, all the way up there, all the way up there on my window, on my windshield, it's still going off. It's just a motion detector, same thing you'd see in a light that kicks a light on. I'm going to turn it off. The batteries have been in this for about three years. It's a bunch of double A's. I have not changed them. And I keep this in my in the boat and I keep this in my truck so if I'm gonna run in I can put this anywhere I want I'll, sometimes I'll clip it up there sometimes I'll just rest it in here and close this and pin it there lots of places you can put this you can put this up on a t-top looking down the main idea is to protect my rods when I'm gonna go inside that's protecting my electronics and my fish finders if someone tries taking them off any shock right here removing these fish finders it's gonna get in that it's gonna get caught by that viper so I have three lines of defense on here these have all been really good. I had a friend go into a Hardee's 
just for a few minutes, came out, all his rods were gone. Luckily, there were enough of us around, so his trip wasn't ruined. He borrowed two rods from each of us and was able to fish the rest of the week. But man, that's horrible. That's absolutely horrible. So I'll put some links in these to find them. I'll go take a few minutes and find all these. This was probably 60, 70 bucks. It's a farm gate alarm, works up to a couple miles. The, I'll get the other one. This is just a motorcycle alarm I found on Amazon for around 50 bucks. This one's been awesome. You can't get away with this one. This is the most expensive, it's a Viper. I'm gonna say between 80 and 100 bucks. This has probably been the most disappointing out of all of them. I mean, after you set it, even with the shock sensitivity cranked up, if you're not like working with a hard tool or like really smacking something, it doesn't really go off. Okay, I had to stomp pretty hard for that. People are gonna ask me now, well, but now we know how to get your stuff. Well, if you want my stuff that bad, you can come take it, it's yours. Hook these straight to your battery. Don't go to any battery switch. Don't go to your ignition. They've been great for me. I think they'll uh, give you a lot of peace of mind, especially when you need to run in Hardy's for that biscuit. Stay safe out there. I love you guys. Please subscribe. Thank you. Love you guys. Mean it. This is the new one, the motorcycle alarm. And you can see the uh, siren is sitting there in that plastic bag you can barely see. That tiny little black box is the alarm. That's all it is. Works 